Hello friends, welcome to PHP video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss how do we add white spaces and line breaks in PHP. First of all, I am going to create one new PHP file inside WAMP server www directory. You can see that there is no default.php file. I am going to create one new PHP file with the name default inside www directory. I go to start, say here notepad, I click on the notepad, you can see that the notepad is open. Here I am going to say less than question mark PHP which indicates the beginning of the PHP code and then I say question mark greater than indicates the end of the PHP code. I say file, save as, I save the file inside www directory guys. I give the file name as default.php. Both sides I put double quotations and click on the save button. I minimize the notepad. You can see that we have created default.php file. To execute this PHP file, we take help of the browser. So I open the Google Chrome. Here I say localhost. We know that localhost points to WAMP server www directory. Within that we have default.php file. I hit enter. You can see that default.php file is executed by the browser. We are not getting any output because we don't have any code here. Let's display hello world on the browser. To display hello world, we take help of echo and in double quotations, we pass hello world. Here I put the semicolon because every PHP statement ends with a semicolon. File, save, go to the browser and refresh. You can see that hello world is displayed. We are going to refresh the page to execute the PHP code. Remember that. I want to add more spaces in between hello and world words guys. What I do now, I go back to the notepad file. Here I want to add 10 white spaces. So I say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 white spaces I have added. I say file, save, go to the browser and refresh. You can see that we are not getting white spaces added there. Now what is the reason behind that? The reason is if there is more than one white space in a string, then browser collapses all those white spaces to a single white space guys. If there is more than one white space in between words, then browser collapses all those white spaces to a single white space guys. That is the reason we are getting only one white space there. So how do we add more white spaces? To add more than one white space in between words or characters, we can use HTML entity ampersand nbsp semicolon. We take help of ampersand nbsp semicolon to add more than one white spaces in between words or characters in a string guys. Ampersand nbsp semicolon indicates non-breakable white space which adds a single white space. We can use ampersand nbsp semicolon any number of times to add more white spaces. Let me go back to the notepad and I say here ampersand nbsp semicolon. So this adds one space. So we have already one space here. We are adding one more space. So total two white spaces. I say file, save, go to the browser and refresh. You can see that one more white space is added. I want total 10 white spaces. So what I do, I am going to copy this code from here. Already we have 2 white spaces. So we need 8 more, right? So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. File, save, go to the browser and refresh. You can see that 10 white spaces are added. So at any time, if you want to add more than 1 white spaces, you can take help of ampersand nbsp semicolon guys. Next we understand how do we add line break in PHP. To add line break we can use HTML BR tag within a string. HTML BR tag moves the cursor to the next line so that from there on next content can be placed or written. Let me go back to the notepad for explanation. What I do now is I am going to delete this line of code. I say here echo hello world double quotation semicolon I say file save go to browser and refresh 
you can see that hello world is displayed. I want to display one more hello world. So what I do, I go back here within the string, I say hello world, file, save, go to the browser and refresh. You can see that one more hello world is displayed beside the previous hello world. I want to move this hello world to the next line. If I go back to the notepad file and hit enter, save file, save, go to the browser and refresh, you can see that we are getting the same output. The hello world is not getting moved to the next line. The reason is browser doesn't understand your formatting, whatever formatting you do inside the text editor. We should tell everything to the browser with the help of code. So what we, what we need to do is we need to take help of br tag. br tag is something like an enter key. So what we are telling to the browser here is we are telling display hello world and then a space and move the cursor to the next line. It's like an enter key. Then onwards display this hello world text. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. Now the hello world is moved to the next line. It is same like saying something like this echo hello world space br means enter and then display hello world. That is the meaning of this code guys. I'm going to select these two lines of text and say delete. Let's understand more. You get more clear idea. I give space here and add hello world. What happens here? Hello world space is displayed. Then hit enter key. This entire content is displayed on the next line. Hello world space hello world. If I say file save go to the browser and refresh you see hello world is displayed beside the previous hello world. I want to move this hello world to the next line. So what should I do guys? Here I need to add br tag right. If I say file save go to browser and refresh you see that the hello world is displayed on the next line. So that's how the br tag is used to push the content to the next line guys. You can do this same thing in many different ways. Let's understand step by step. Below here I say echo and then I say hello world double quotations semicolon. What happens here guys? We are going to get the output something like this. Hello world space hit enter. Hello world space hit enter. Hello world hello world. So remember that browser won't understand your formatting inside the notepad or a text editor. So we are going to get this output guys. I am going to delete this content. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that this hello world is displayed beside the previous one. Right? So what do we do is here I am going to add the br tag so that we can push the content to the next line. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that we got the output down. We can add more br tags to add more line breaks. So I say here one more br. File, save, go to browser and refresh. We got one more line break. You can see that right. Now what I do here I say echo hello world semicolon echo hello world semicolon. Now we are going to get three hello worlds one beside another. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that hello world, hello world, hello world is displayed. To move the content down, what we can do is we can add a br tag here at the end of each echo string. So what are we saying here? Display hello world, hit enter key. Display hello world, hit enter key. Display hello world, hit enter key. So what happens guys? The output is going to be like this. Hello world, hit enter. Hello world, hit enter. Hello world, hit enter. So that is the meaning of these three lines of code. I delete this text, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that we got hello world, hello world, hello world displayed one below other. You can do this in many different ways as I told. So I am going to say again here one more br to get the extra break. I say echo hello world copy this code paste two times file save. What happens? We get these three hello worlds one beside another file save go to browser and refresh. You see that we are getting 
one beside another. We can move these hello worlds to the next line by writing br before also. So here I am going to say br br tag. What happens here? We are telling display hello world and then hit the enter key and display hello world. Hit the enter key, display hello world. File, save, go to browser and refresh. See that we got hello world, hit enter key, hello world, hit enter key, hello world, right? So that's how the code works. We can add br here again at the end if we want to get extra breaks. Next, if I say echo, hello world, double quotation semicolon, I'm going to copy this code here paste and paste. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see we got again hello world one beside another. We can display these hello worlds one below another in many different ways as I told. I can use echo and say br. I can copy this code from here. I can paste here. I can paste here. So we can take help of many echoes guys to do the same task. So we are telling this echo should display hello world this echo should move the cursor to the next line. This echo should display the hello world. This echo should move the cursor to the next line. This echo should display the hello world. This echo should move the cursor to the next line. I'm going to add semicolons here. File, save, go to browser and refresh. See that we got hello world, hello world, hello world displayed one below another. You can display hello world, hello world, hello world in many different ways. Let me show one more way. So I just say here one more echo, extra echo here, echo br. So remember that br tag is something like an enter key. Okay. I say here echo. We know that to the echo construct, we can pass more than one values separated by comma. Right. So what I say here, I say hello world, double quotations, semicolon. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. We get the hello world displayed there. I can use comma and say br to move the content to the next line. Again comma and I can display here hello world second time. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that the hello world is displayed below the previous hello world here, right? So we are telling echo hello world and move the cursor to the next line. Echo hello world and move the cursor to the next line and echo hello world. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you see this hello world is displayed down. That is how you can use the PR tag in many different ways to push the content to the next line. I'm going to say comma. I can use here two BRs at a time, right? We're just passing the PR in between string here, right? Let's do one more style echo hello world we can also use the concatenation operator that is the dot operator concatenation operator combines two strings together actually okay comma and dot are two different things guys dot is a concatenation operator we we'll discuss about this operator in detail step by step later okay here i am saying hello world dot and then i say br string semicolon i say file save go to browser and refresh we got the hello world displayed there next i say dot hello world double quotation we can add file save go to browser and refresh you see that the hello world is is displayed below the previous hello world again i can use dot and then i can say br and dot and then hello world file save Go to browser and refresh. You can see that this hello world is displayed below the previous hello world. So dot is a concatenation operator. It is actually an appending operator we say. We talk about it later step by step because we are going to use the dot operator again and again in future videos. I hope you guys have clearly understood how do we use uh, the br tag to add the line breaks. I suggest you people to watch this video again and again. I think for this video tutorial, this much is enough friends. Uh, I suggest you people to experiment more, try yourself. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss more about PHP. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. 
keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial